Fly! 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've done a lot since last time. Oh, did you know? But not nearly enough. <laughs> um, I've also accidentally started some side quests that were meant to be done uh, here. So I'll just I'll catch a, I'll catch you guys up in in, in short summary. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, oh, we got some clips. Yeah. A more ball. An old friend. So, guess what? What's up? That dodge is amazing. It's kind of insane. Because even when you don't perfect dodge, you just get to fucking get a free hit in for a second. And even when you do, and when you do perfect dodge, it lasts an incredibly long time. So Shiva is, uh, as like everything we've been unlocking, insanely good. Okay. So you worked on him for a bit? I worked on him for a bit. And... I mean, you get it. It's a 10 minute clip. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Battle, yeah. It is what it is. And it's more of the same the whole time. Red Dawn, okay. New spells. Almost. And I want to see. Yeah. Almost. All there, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him. Um, rank defeated. Yeah. The only thing I think we didn't see is there's one sequence, Last Dance, where. He just starts doing everything together. I see. Embroil while doing the yeah, Blazing Legion, while pumping the lasers, while doing the Psycho Crusher, Red Dawn. Like, he just starts doing every single thing together. Overlapping, That's and it's- a swan song. And it's- and it's horseshit, as you can imagine. But yeah, that's it. So like, and, I, and it, that seems to happen at the last like 95% marker. So mm. just in case you got it down a little too well. So yeah, beat him. Not bad. Uh, and you got some good stuff out of it? Uh, yeah, nothing super special. You know, mm. it was okay. Um, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> well, I, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, I, I got um, I got some stuff. I, I got a new sword, which is now at 300. It's... Uh, What's it called? Ice? It's ice themed. Ice brand. Uh, so there we go. Okay. Um, currently set up. Uh, not enough money for the full thing I want, but we're just kind of doing, you know, um, lightning rod and giga flare while rocking the dodge on Shiva. Okay. So best of. All three worlds in the middle there. And what else? I did a side quest that expands the potion slots. So now I can hold eight, five, and uh, more of each thing. That's pretty good. So maximize that. I also did a side quest that makes them heal you more. So they do better healing overall. Okay. And these things last longer. So now 108 seconds, 72 seconds. 36 seconds, over 33. But yeah. A um, couple of uh, improvements over there. Okay, then amongst the side quests, a lot of nothings were done. Um, but 
there were some that mattered. Uh, so among those, I started accidentally, I didn't mean to, but uh, uh, Bone to Pick is um, Lady Kara's like, oh, what's up with Torgal? He doesn't like my treats anymore. Oh. And then you got it, and then you go talk to uh, Wikipedia, and he's like, yeah, the fact that Torgal's like basically a, 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 frost wolf. a frost wolf means that normal wolf shit ain't gonna cut it. So you gotta go get him some treats that he's gonna like because usually frost wolves are getting nutrition from much bigger, crazier foes than oh. the scrubs you've been dealing with. So deal with that. Um, payback was... Uh, yeah. Okay, a revenge quest ready to go. Um, it was in the ledgers. Goat wants to go get payback. And then, uh, what was there? Oh, there was a quest with, um, uh, 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 I forgot her name, but, like, the captain of the, of the guard that we kind of, uh, did a couple other quests with. Um, anyway, we, there's a whole side story where you go back and you find this lady who was her former slave master, who's now, like, uh, black market, uh, like, dealing slaves, sending slaves back to the old country where for, you know, while uh, the world is going to shit and you go and you deal with that and then you kind of just let her walk off and it's kind of weird, like, hey game I, I get it, you're not just gonna fucking, you know, like they're not gonna have Clive just fucking uh, 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 earth and fury an old lady yeah. who's evil, but there's a weird moment of like, you're just gonna let this evil slaver just on her way and then they're like no no the authorities will deal with her and he's like are you sure and they're like yes and then it's like yep she got arrested okay you know <laughs> so you don't have to do anything you don't have to deal with the 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 mess of that even though you wish you could have you know um doris's quest there you go and then there's rekindling the flame where uh, martha needs clive to head over to east pool where uh wade is waiting and um hopefully we can uh, set that up as well. Okay. Uh, I hunted the Morball. It was a strong one. And no match, clearly. Still standing to tell the tale. Uh, yeah. And that more or less sums it up. Okay. So are we going straight to the infirmary? Right um, I just wanted to check because... Yeah, here we go. This is supposed to be our, uh, our squire. My Lord Marquis, I... I heard about Eastpool, that some of my fellow guardians are to build a new home there, both for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. Is it true? It's true. The village is to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories of Eastpool. When I was a child, we would visit my aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle passed away, but... not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar, I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But... but my lord... Uh, no but. My training is not yet complete. I, I couldn't possibly. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters. But I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go. Be with your aunt. Rebuild her home. It's what she would have wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Thanks for coming all this way. Now get the fuck out. Post haste. There's a recurring... There's a recurring bit over here where you get... Um weird ingredient foods and then like one of the dudes that's like a culinary historian tastes it and it's like some awful horrible ingredient and the person making it is like this is gross i don't want to make it and then the guy eats it and he go and he basically falls over and goes Aah! and then they're like oh my god he's dead and then he's like it's magnificent it's glorious and then he goes on a big long rant like rant about how you know the delicate embers of this and the that and the you know and goes on a, a whole like posh ass like history lesson of you know it, it was How disgusting at first but it turns together. out it's actually a delicacy mm -hmm. and like that's a so that's a side quest bit as well then again why 
settle for low yes shafts. and then you're all about um so you had a quest and you've got some renown for me welcome to the patron's whisper Hmm. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Wow, wow, wow. All yours. A gift from the chaplain. Talisman of again. Priming. I may have more for you. Does that increase my priming duration? Lionheart duration. Okay, well, how often are we using that? That's <laughs> the tonic sucks. and the talisman. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, what was there? Uh, there was another thing I wanted to remember, but shit, it's escaping me. Clive, did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. some bad news it turns out the hideaway may be oh god you owe uncle in its payment to certain lenders and it may be my fault but i swear to the goddess i thought i had the numbers square what did you do sadly that square turned out to be more of a circle zero you skimming you might say you've been skimming I bro out, i swear but it's going to take some time, and I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. There you are. What a surprise. A whole digit? So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive. The man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Theme of hijinks. Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. 500 talents. Oh, three of our most trusted friends. Five million gil. Each five million. How did you do that? <laughs> Where did the money go? The money we used to rebuild the hideaway. <laughs> well, uh, I must have made some sort of <laughs> oversight. Isn't he the only one that can read in the base as well? And it was my God damn it! Trust them to you. This is my fault. Yep. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. So we're gonna so put Gelp to work? We'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. Are we still friends with Dion? Can we just that mean send him a Venmo request? Yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? For services Come rendered on. in the in our uh, you fancy taking these to our hideaway with no health care. Rocks, rocks. He says, worth a thousand talents apiece. These are a little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. Lord Dion, your bill for twenty-five million. million? Debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because... You'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> well, 
Nice going. This is goodbye then. Nice knowing you, Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt's about to get routed. Nicely done. Locked. Huh? Oh, because that because that one's behind the uh, the infirmary door, which is the next quest main quest mission. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Martha and Isabella. Alright. What's that, Lord Dion? You currently don't have 15 million liquid? Well, fortunately, you've got equity, don't you? Absurd. Surely there's some properties that have value that you could be divested of. <laughs> uh... Oh, yes, I remembered what I wanted to say. Um, so, uh, in Rosaria, this was the little town that had the people that were like, like, the old people were like, don't talk too loud, because, like, the guards are around. And then, like, the younger ones were like, ah, fuck this town, we should join the Black Guard. Okay. Right? Like, do you remember that little, like, kind of sussy town? And you went back there? Yeah, they're all Akashic now. The whole, the whole, the whole thing's gone. Okay. Dunzo. Akashic Chocobos, Get even. Get the green seeds up to Sir Wade in Eastpool, would you? And while you're there, ask him what the situation is with the Akashic over that way. He might actually tell you the truth. Because we are in the middle of... Uh, another side quest for Martha. Rekindling the flame, too. We cannot currently do Martha's bit in payback. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I did a bunch of side quests simultaneously, so that's fine. We'll just have to uh, actually complete those. Uh, rekindling the flame too, as well as a bone to pick. So a bone to pick is slay elder antelopes and Cressida. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's take care of what's on our plate. Rekindling the flame, and then we <laughs> can give Martha her money and a million other things. That's okay. Though it, 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 you're, it does get a bit confusing sometimes when you're like, which one was this again? I'm just walking towards green exclamation marks. Um, oh, uh, also, that's what it, another thing was um, I overheard some random banter from people at the hideout that were like, um, Barnabas has been, hasn't aged ever since he took the throne 35 years ago. Whoa. So, take that as you would. Hmm. Is that just a side effect of Odin, or is that some other shit? I don't know, but if he's creating his own twinks, uh, if Ultima can be mommy, what else is going on with his powers? That's weird. He does look young. Ah, Very young. Lord Rossfield, what brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. Yes, you can make your own twink harem. But none of them have stamina. The more you make, the weaker they are. <laughs> Stick to one. Stick to one twin. Uh, what's one the twin point? The what's the point if they all fucking fade His away? Is all green seats. <laughs> In Martha's half keen around. to cut the apron strings, then is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far. That's kind of what I was implying. Insisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. Mm -hmm. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... 
The horde. It's Sir. Closing. Yeah. <laughs> Interruption Coming. line. So wait, all of them. Time it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. All bearers should be like incredibly the, the most skilled blue collar of everybody in, in the land. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches Just pay for a him. while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. Mm -hmm. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the guardians might be able to defend the village, but now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians. What help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. I don't know, man. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. A bad soldier on the battlefield is a liability worse than having no soldier there at all. Sometimes. All right. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. Mm -hmm. You would send us to the slaughter. Tape us to the tanks Such again, will you? For those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. We've seen and South Park. We trusted you. We know how this uh -oh. goes. Yeah. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. Yeah. A home is, is not worth, worth dying for. for. That's kind of weak, bearer. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. Didn't you? This place, East Pool. This place is garbage. This is your village, your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Homes, your freedom, your very lives. Rousing so speech. Then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? He handed her the pen. <laughs> Damn, not quite a William Wallace. Oh, it takes one. What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. We only got pans, I'm sorry. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine or die trying. Let's go. Time to get rich. Fitty. Free men and women fighting together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe. Priest pool. Priest pool. Yeah, we're taking it back. To the front line then. All of you. Yeah. Straight to the front. Right this way. Damn, Martha. Like Thank that? <laughs> I'll be at the rest. Don't mention it. <laughs> Promise me one thing, that you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Freeborns. We've got these new swords. They're called TNT. You get real close to the enemy. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? 
Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. Mm -hmm. You're going to mm -hmm. lure them into the village. I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. All right. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. <laughs> Sir Wade! They're here! Once we we'll get to the fighting once we pick in all of our fucking bearers at the enemy. <laughs> Everyone playing their part. Have them Each running up to the, the fucking no Akashic armies and blowing themselves like uh like fucking Urukai. <laughs> oh god damn it. Alright. We've no time to argue. Let's do it. Lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Pan right combos. Are, Martha. Martha. Boing. All right. Let's hope for the bears. Oh god! Like just the calm before the storm. The be like the, the the panicked first time swordsman that shoves everyone Here around him to the ground and just runs off is not a better than nothing outcome. So if you want to see how side quests go, this is what's happening, huh? Oh. Is that pillar of light again? Jeez. Oh, there's a lot of Akashics. Where's the bearer meat shield? And just like that, you delete whatever is going on. Mm. Oh, that chicken can't handle you. Bye bye, Raptor. Can you eat Akashic meat? Uh, technically, we came from being Akashic, so it's just. Why not? What are you aiming at? Right? If. If there's an ancestral Akashic meat memory in our brain somewhere, I don't see why not. In the butt. Tenderized. It's like getting a pee. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rossfield! Change of plan! What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed uh -oh. in their direction. Another curl? Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in Eastpool? Hard to say. 
My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when Eastpool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. All right. Make for Rianon's ride. Back over this way. Okay. Well, how we doing? Come to tell me an Akashic curl's heading towards the rest. Get yourself down there. We can handle things here. Okay, Next Martin. One's mine. No use calling up Rosia now. The curl was sighted on Rhiannon's ride back towards Martha's rest. Ready, go. Always. Fly, Ambrosia. Ambrosia tries even less and less to be subtle. Yeah, I know. We're just at the point of just like, yeah, I'm popping in. What the fuck you gonna do about it? Are you mad? Did I break your immersion? Do you not want this ride? Then get the fuck off and hoof it manually, asshole. I'm teleporting in. Now what? <laughs> Also, a great suggestion I see over there. If, uh, if if Barnabas has to summon in weak twinks in plural, then the best they can do is hang back and watch, <laughs> like like the end of Ava. <laughs> just just applaud whatever you're doing. Nicely done. Whip, crack. All right. Mm. Thing. Yeah, you like those pets, kitty? That freeze is so good. Unbelievable. That Unbelievable. Is crazy. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Like, fuck the level, ha fuck having a super on even all six. Like, that's a deleter too. But, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cold cap. Back to East Pool. We did it. Fucking bloodhound step up in this bitch, man. <laughs> Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? It's dead. One Thank touch. The founder for that. <laughs> and for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. <sighs> we did it. We saved Eastpool. Eastside? It's yours now. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. <laughs> we didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. 
but there's no doubt in my mind anymore. Yeah, that was kind of whack. We're free men now, so we have to start acting like it. Mm. We have to fight to protect what's ours, to protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Yeah. All we needed was a little bit of motivation and courage and a walking nuke to go solve the worst of our problems. <laughs> They're not slaves anymore. The pan did help too. The pan no. did some work. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. Hmm? But you should be proud all the same. <laughs> I'll have to pull my weight, too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. East Pudlian? East Pudlian. Is this some kind of, of brummy accent I'm shit? counting on yours, too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. I will. So do they say Liverpudlian? Lord Rossfield. I'm about to <laughs> Do you remember our very first <laughs> that, mission together? Is that what you call yourselves? The yeah. Still win marshes. Gotcha. How could I forget? <laughs> There's one sight that I shall never forget. You, facing off against that giant mauble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> Unless I destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Just make sure I've had my coffee. Rah! Uh, yeah. From henceforth, you're all known as Puds. Ooh. Pud can Pride. We, can we change the town? Pudlians, name? you are! Ugh. Disgusting. Fucking putters. Win one battle. This is no time to ride. Start talking shit. Is that putter with the hard R or yeah, soft it's, A? It's putter to you. Okay, well. Why did that take like four sec? God damn it. We really are a goddamn dead horse fucking channel. <laughs> is the bit racism? Yes, it is. Welcome to Wooly Versus. Oh, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> oh, right. God right. damn it, dude. Fucking think of something else. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, it's Is that to Martha? Quiet. If I were a giant antelope, it would seem like just the place. Torgo needs big antelope. Oh, that's why we're here. Sick him, Torgo. All yours, Torgo. 
There you go. Eat up. Wow, that antelope just tumbled. There won't be anything left. It's fine. Ow. Rude. Tenderizing, like you said, yeah. Just punching the shit out of a fucking deer. Get him. Go, kill. Do it! Damn, Do it! The combos and everything. Sick ravage, sick ravage. Go, kill. He's doing it all, let's go! Yours, Nicely done. Good job, Popo. I didn't think he could uh, trigger his attacks that fast, actually. Yeah, he'll combo into himself. Yeah. Oh, sick. Now. Will it be enough, I wonder? Really? A bone? Yeah. No meat on it? I say that answers they my love question. bones, dude. Which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. Something to chew, something to strengthen your jaw. A very big puppy. It's ancestrally oh. rewarding. It's uh, <laughs> got marrow in it. You do know you can take that with you, Togo. Though you gotta watch out for the shards. Really you've got your appetite mm -hmm. back. Come on, boy. The marrow is good, but the shards are bad. So it's a it's a it's a double sided sword. As long as you don't cook the bone, it's fine. Do not give cooked bones to your pets, apparently, because it softens the bone and makes it easier to break. It's uh, yeah, it's not healthy for them. But if you if they break the bone normally, the the cracks are still dangerous, right? Mm. No, so many things are like not great for. Yeah, dog. I mean, you want to get like you can probably extract the marrow after a certain point, maybe. I don't know. The hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. You teleported. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Thank you, Martha. So, East Pool's finally back on its feet again. For now. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Might be crazy enough to work. Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. Oh. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Are we going to see him? Founder knows what he thought no. he was doing with Aww. them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Seeing a younger Something Sid and Martha, maybe? Not Did happening. You? I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. I think it's better Somehow without it. Both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work, <laughs> told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And you know what he did? He smiled, and then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. 
that whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Is there any like yada 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 in between then and now? I or? was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. Mm -hmm. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? <laughs> it's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. <laughs> Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Nattering. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Nice. Yeah, I think um, if you're gonna use flashbacks in your story, you have to use them consistently. And at any time there's like a movie or a thing where there you don't use flashbacks and then suddenly there's one, that one will stand out and feel really weird because you've been in the present tense the entire time yeah. to jump back once, you know, like unless it's a particular like plot reveal moment of some kind of significance in a major way. But like for casual purposes, it would be really out of touch to have one moment like that and then not have any other, mm -hmm. you know. All right, you're locked down. Restricted. Can't do payback. After it. Interesting. That's the first time besides we've seen that besides the uh, the one we just saw at uh, behind the the infirmary. Okay. 